Hello. Welcome. This is Ken Sabahar with Solution Systems. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate the Dynamics 365 Business Central email logging feature. The email logging feature inside of Business Central allows organizations through the use of Office 365 to automatically track all email correspondence between existing contacts and salespeople set up inside of Business Central. As an example, I have an email set up here. So Ken at Solsist is set up as a contact inside Business Central, and I'm communicating with um, my vendor who is running Business Central, and I'm asking them for a new price list and I'm to submit my purchase order to order some new stuff. So I'm gonna send this email here to saying, please send the updated price list. And I also have attached my purchase order uh, from the last order. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that email. Now, what's happening is, is the email is being routed to my Business Central Organization's uh, Office 365 server. It's recognizing that it's for an existing contact and it's recording an interaction inside of Business Central. So what do those look like once, once they're brought into Business Central? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just click on contacts here. Contacts list is a list of all company and in-person contacts associated with your organization. These could be customers, they could be vendors, or they could just be prospects or other contacts that you have uh, as part of your business. Uh, so in bold, you see the company contact, and then immediately below that, you see all of the individual person contacts associated with that company. So I am uh, Ken at Solsys. I'm associated with Solution Systems. Uh, so if I want to see all of the um, interactions that, that have taken place specifically with Ken, I can click on interaction log entries here, and I see a list of all of the uh, interactions that have taken place. Now, in this example here, you'll see that all of the interactions, uh, these are sorted by date, by the way. So my newest one's at the bottom. And here is the new one uh, that we just sent. Um, you'll see all of these are emails. Uh, there could be other types of interactions. Those could be sales quotes or sales order confirmations, invoices or credit memos that you've delivered uh, to the customer. For a vendor, it could be a purchase order that you've sent, a customer statement. All of those things can be automatically recorded by Business Central as interaction log entries. Lastly, you could also have a salesperson manually just create a, an interaction entry uh, through a wizard to record that maybe they had a phone call uh, with a particular contact. Now, if I wanna see the actual email itself, so now I'm sitting in Business Central, I see all of these and I wanna look at this last email that came in from this contact. You'll see I have this a column here, attachment. It shows me that in each case here, I have an email attached. So I just click on that. What it does is it launches a new tab showing me the actual email itself. So this is actually Outlook. You'll see up top here, it launched my Office 365 Outlook account. And here is the email uh, that was requested as well as the attachment. So any attachments are there. I can download the attachment, print the attachment. Uh, I can also reply to this email or forward this email. Really anything that you can do through Outlook um, because I, I effectively am in my Office 365 uh, Outlook here. So um, now I also can click on the company. If I click on the organization contact here, and now I look at my interaction log entries, you're going to see more entries here because what it's doing is it's showing me all of the interactions that have taken place with all of the contacts at that organization. Uh, so while most of them were, were from emails from myself, you'll see that we also have one email here that came from Deandra, another email here that came from uh, this user, Ken Demo. And again, 
I have access, even from these other emails, I can click on it and launch, even though I had nothing to do with this email, um, you know, I can see the, the email itself here and launch any one of these uh, to see what happened. So I hope this was a good demonstration uh, to show how through Business Central's email logging feature, we can provide full email visibility to all of your Business Central users right from within the contacts page inside of Business Central. Thank you very much.